How's everybody doing today? And as you can see, we're going to be rebuilding the Cleveland Indians, a team that I think just need a couple pieces to really make them a World Series contender. Um, so let's let's hop into it in a little bit. But before we hop into it, you know what to do. Hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you are new and enjoy the content. And also let me know down below what team to rebuild next. We're down to our last couple. We have the Red Sox, the Yankees, the Royals, the Dodgers, the D-backs. And I think that's it um oh the astros as well the astros so i think that's what six teams left so there's not that many more to go so let's just hop into this one um like i said i don't think there's that many moves that need to be made for this team to be considered a world series contender so looking at this roster you have kluber one of the better reliever or relievers starting pitchers who um as long as he performs i'll keep him around but again with the high um, contract like that it may be uh if he does bad let's trade him while he still has some value we got trevor bauer who's decent carlos carrasco again pretty decent sized contract so if he doesn't perform well it's going to be out the door with him we have clevenger we have shane bieber who's an a prospect and then outside of that um we do have tristan mckenzie and then a couple players down here that probably won't help us in the rebuild so these might be pieces to trade to find us someone that we do need right away andrew miller brad hand um i do want to keep andrew miller around as long as possible because he is one of the best relievers consistently throughout sim style franchise brad hand does the same he's he, he's just consistent um we do have danny salazar who will be that long relief role adam simber who usually hits about the low 80s and then outside of that you know we don't have too many pieces that we can work with um we do have miller hand salazar and simber but that's that's not enough for a strong bullpen we also do have cody allen who will hold the closing role um as long as he does well um jan gomez not necessarily the catcher for the future but if he does well i'm okay with that because catchers um it's one of those players where they're usually pretty consistent even though they hit the 38 the 30 year old mark Edwin Encarnacion, he's 35, so I'm going to trade him while he still has some value. Second baseman, Jose Ramirez, he does fine. He stays consistently around that 90 mark, and he plays pretty well, so he's our second baseman. Third baseman, we got Josh Donaldson. Um, again, he's got a decent contract, so we'll see how this season goes. If he starts creeping down into the high 80s, it might be a, a trade while he still has some value. Um, Francisco Lindor, one of my favorite players in baseball right now. Him and Javi Baez are like up there with one and two i love i just love how like he enjoys playing the sport um but he's gonna be the shortstop for the future for our team i don't see anybody taking over his spot michael brantley i'm okay with him playing left field not necessarily a power bat but um he should be okay as long as he he performs if he doesn't perform then we'll trade him um we also do have tyler naquin right underneath him who develops decently over the next couple years Raja davis probably going to be out the door at 37 i just i don't really see him helping us too much in the future um we, we also do have louis leonis martin but again he's 30 so do i really want to keep him around too much more we'll have to see greg allen should develop pretty quickly be potential we also do have bradley zimmer and then in right field we definitely need a right fielder we're kind of lacking something there so that's the squad um with that being said i didn't really see too many exciting prospects Specs. I mean, like we do have Greg Allen. There's Bradley Zimmer. Um, we also did have Melky Cabrera, who's there, who we could also use for left field. But again, he's he's 33. Um, but looking at the prospects, I don't see any that'll like immediately hop into the squad besides uh, Shane Bieber. So there's a couple pieces I definitely want to find. Um, like I said, a center fielder is in the work that we're gonna have to work and find. Um, right fielder. Um, Jason Kipnis is another player where for 4.3 million do I keep him around um, Yonder Alonso for 2 million I if he performs well he could be an okay bench bat but um, it's it's looking like I want to move some of the older pieces to bring in some newer players that's really the big thing here um, also free up some uh, contract space so we can keep Andrew Miller after this season um, and a couple other names that once their contract runs out I don't think we're all gonna be able we're gonna be able to afford them all so let's see what we can do um like i said center field right field are kind of kind of need to figure out and then pitching rotation you can see the bullpen looks okay for now but we have oliver perez who's 36 otero who's 33 hoyt who's 31 so i'm kind of looking for for a name that 
can help us for the future all right so let's let's see what we can do here already the first trade i said i did want to move edwin incarnacion while he still had some value again he also does have a like a six million dollar contract um so for 35 years old b potential 82 overall along with adam plutko who he's 26 c potential he won't grow too much as well as ernie clement who won't grow too much as well we're going to be getting josh bell from the pirates um mid 20 so he's right at that age where he's going to develop pretty quickly b potential 77 overall i think this is a pretty decent pretty decent pickup for us um especially since now we got a first baseman for the future second trade we're going to get we're going for is for jackie bradley jr a player we haven't actually ever picked up center fielder for the red sox got a, some decent power versus righties um for raja davis Leonis Martin, and then um, the, the the piece that's really making this work is Eric Gonzalez. Um, 26 years old, B potential, 65 overall. I just don't see him cracking the squad with Jose Ramirez in front of him. Um, if it doesn't work out, we could always let Jackie Bradley leave. Also, he's on arbitration, so he'll probably stay around that $3 million mark for the contract. So, already right, next trade we're going to be making is with the Blue Jays for um, Carlos Carrasco, Melky Cabrera, and Yandy Diaz. Um, Yandy Diaz is a um, third baseman, 26 years old, B potential, 62 overall. We're getting Marcus Stroman as well as Randall Grichik. Um, I kind of thought about moving Naquin to right field, um, but we'll, we'll have to wait and see for now. Um, we did take on about $7 million in contracts, but I think that's really going to be the only trades we're going to be making this year. I'm going to let some players develop and see how it works, but um, I forgot I need to bring up Danny Salazar to the squad. So I think once I move him up to the MLB and then drop, who can I drop? Um, let's see here, probably Geyer to AAA. So after those trades, I think this is how we're gonna round up the squad. We got Kluber, Bauer, Stroman, Clevenger, and Bieber. And we got Simber, Salazar, Hoyt, Otero, Allen, Perez, Hand, and Miller. Lineup wise, I'm thinking it's 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 decent. Um, Bell should develop this year. Bradley could develop this year. We got Jose Ramirez, Lindor. Um, it's looking it's looking okay. Um, not too bad. Obviously, we could use a little bit of a, a bench bat that's a little bit better. I think I'm gonna do this actually. I'm gonna send Chisholm Hall to Triple A, and then bring up Tyler Naquin. Let him develop this year. I mean, he's 26. He's 75 overall. He definitely should be playing in the majors. So that's that's the squad. I'm liking the way it looks for the first season. Like I said, I don't think we need that many pieces to really be a playoff team and also a World Series contender. So with those moves being made, I'll see you guys at draft day. Alrighty, draft day. We have the... Yikes. We have the 29th pick. All right. And to be honest, the first player or like one of the only players that I have up here that is like scouted is a pretty decent looking player philip kondo of japan good hitting stats good plate vision discipline looks pretty got solid already so I'm, I'm gonna go with uh philip here i'm gonna go ian Lattimore in the second pick all my scouted players are gone so um this guy looks pretty decent for the future besides his k's and his control looks pretty decent and then we have a uh a compensary pick so let's see who we go with here um Actually, this doesn't look too bad. We'll go with Jeff uh, Thomason. To yeah, we'll go with Jeff Thomason, third baseman. Oh, we have another like pick, comp, like a balance pick. All right, we're going David Flanagan out of Mississippi, the lefty starter. All right, we're finally in the third round here. Let's see who we go with. We're going Sean Zavala based on his power hitting stats, and he's also a switch hitter. He looks pretty decent for a right fielder. We're gonna go Josh Bingham out of Oregon, the starting pitcher. We're gonna try and Juan Barrios out of Nicaragua. There's also this guy, Anthony Mora, who, who doesn't look bad at all. Um, he looks pretty good, but he's 80 out of 80. And um, Juan Barrios could develop a little bit more rather than decreasing like the other guy probably would. I think this is the last pick. He's there. I guess we'll give him a shot unless Pablo Camacho looks decent. And I mean, contact stats and all. Like arm strength don't look bad, but we'll give Anthony more of the picks. So let's see how our picks are. So we had a lot of picks and to be honest, there aren't that many good ones. Philip Kondo is already a 71 overall 
and he's a first baseman so he definitely will be able to help us next season for sure beat potential lefty bat throws righty but look at those hitting stats already it looks pretty solid and he's got 88 potential like i've mentioned he's a good first um round pick ian Lattimore, 75 potential was kind of hoping he would be a little bit better he's 55 overall but that's unfortunate the next one was jeff thomason who i thought was actually gonna be pretty decent as well only 76 potential 62 overall this is the big one though david flanagan a potential 64 overall and he's got 94 potential that, that's a solid pickup the rest of them pretty bad sean zavala i thought would have been decent 65 potential josh bingham i thought was a nice pickup as well only 73 potential juan barrios only 75 and then anthony morris capped out at 73 so to be honest i don't really see any of these players helping us um but you know what we'll, we'll give them we'll give them some contracts anyways i'm um, really the only one i don't see myself giving a contract is sean zavala so that's those were the picks a little lackluster i actually felt pretty confident in what we drafted so um let's let's uh let's see how everything goes by the trade deadline as you guys can see at the deadline not, yeah the trade deadline day we are 68 and 37 we have a huge lead in the central um it's going pretty well no one really like too notable has gone on the disabled list jan gomez is starting to decrease he's also been out for a couple weeks um looking at the pitching rotation 11 and 3 for kluber he's performing qu pretty well even though it says his rating is decreasing marcus stroman's doing pretty solid as well a 333 era he's 10 and 4 um a 310 era for kluber clevenger's 10 and 6 he's 83 overall he's got a 331 era shane bieber 8 and 5 381 overall um that's good to see in trevor bauer he was injured for a brief period and he's got a win-loss record of eight and six. His ERA is still under 350, um, which is which is awesome to see. I don't understand why he's going down in rating. Um, maybe it's like a personal oh his contract a little bit, but overall, he's you know the starting rotation holding its own, doing pretty solid. Adam Simber, 16 innings, not the best ERA. Um, Danny Salazar, 13 and six, 3.52 ERA. Um, if um, when Clevenger got hurt or no when Bauer got hurt Salazar moved over to the starting role spot so even if we we need to trade one of our starting pitchers we do have Danny Salazar who is more than capable of filling that role which is kind of tempting to do because I've used him in a starting role before and he does very well um Hoyt doing pretty solid 251 ERA good to see Otero a three ERA not bad um he's only pitched six innings but that's okay Cody Allen 3-2 ERA pitched 25 innings still pretty good that's that's what i like to see um oliver perez is obviously going to start to decrease he's 36 years old and he's got a 10 era i don't expect him to hang around too much longer brad hand is doing all right i mean three three era not bad at all and then andrew miller's a 99 he he's just lights out in this spot 188 era that's really nice to see looking at the lineup jose ramirez is decreasing which always happens i don't understand why um but you can see he's starting to decrease, which is, is a little like unfortunate. Um, Michael Brantley's going up, even though he's 30 years old. He's hitting 300. Josh Donaldson still holding his value, um, which is good to see. His overalls staying pretty good. He is hitting 250 though, um, which isn't amazing. 286 for Francisco Lindor. I like to see that. Josh Bell's an 80. When we traded for him, he was a 77. So that's a good sign to see he's going up. Even Jason Kipnis is going up. He's hitting 280 on the year. Randall Gritchick is an 80, um, which I think is still about the same, but he's developing and Jackie Bradley's developing as well. He's hitting 270 on the year. And then Roberto Perez has come in um, and hit 218. Yonder Alonso is uh, still 72. He's hitting 381. Tyler Naquin, not hitting the best, but he is going up in rating, which is great to see. Um, the only players I really want to see here, um, Tristan McKenzie's up to a 63. And then outside of that there was one there was a couple players in the outfield i want to see uh, greg allen is a 71 and bradley zimmer is a 69 so that was really it um i don't i don't really know who maybe maybe trade some of these aging relievers for like a younger one but outside of that i don't think we really need to make that many moves so if i do that i'll show you guys i decided just to trade them for some um prospect a prospect is a shortstop 19 years old 61 
overall B potential. We're getting rid of Otero and Perez, two of our older players. Plus, Otero's got a contract for next year as well. Even even though Otero's pitching decently in his six innings, um, they're both you know kind of hitting that age where they're really going to start to decrease. And um, picking up a prospect isn't bad, especially since we could always use him for a trade in the future. So I think that's really it. Alrighty, so that piece that we just traded from the Cubs actually came in handy. We're getting rid of Aramis Adedman or Adiman. Uh, and also Jason Kipnis, who I didn't realize had four million dollar contract next season. That's a big, that's a lot of money we can use to re-sign some of the players for next year, um, as well as the catcher Rob Brantley, who he is developing. But we do still have Jan Gomez. And um, can we trade Jan Gomez? No, Jan Gomez is hurt still. Okay, all right. So yeah, we do still have Jan Gomez and Perez. We're bringing in Joey Wendell of the Rays. Um, he's just a really consistent second baseman that I know I've used um, and he also develops pretty well So for the future and for a player that doesn't really cost that much. It's a decent little pickup for us All right, as you can see we finished a hundred and nine wins and 53 losses We won our division and we are taking on the winner of the wild card game So this is the playoff picture you can see it I'm actually happy we didn't play the Astros because the Astros were like our killer. It was the one team we just couldn't beat um, you can see Corey Kluber, Stroman, Andrew Miller. They were pretty lights out this year. Um, let's quickly see. They were. It was all pitching stuff. So let's let's head over there. Kluber had the most wins. Danny Salazar came in because one of our pitchers got hurt. And you can see pretty solid little filler for a um, a pitcher there for a starting pitcher. Even Marcus Stroman had a solid season and Mike Clevenger. Losses, Strowman only had four, Kluber only had six, and Bieber only had seven. Andrew Miller had the most saves. ERA, Sam Gaviglio. Jeez, okay. Um, but you can see Kluber was pretty good. Strowman was solid. Um, Salazar had some of the least homers allowed along with Bauer. Kluber had the most shutouts. Strikeouts for Kluber. Salazar was up there along with Bauer and Clevenger. Kluber had the most complete games, most innings pitched. Um, whip was up there pitching war like all our starting pitchers had some of the best pitching war batting war Lindor was up there so you can see our pitchers pretty solid I don't think we need to make any changes anytime soon Josh Donaldson won a gold glove Cy Young for Corey Kluber and Andrew Miller won um, reliever of the year so you can see this is how the pitching went Corey Kluber 19 and 6 270 ERA he was phenomenal like this is what you want out of your ace and he definitely delivered marcus stroman three era pretty similar walks and strikeouts from last year 17 and 4 record um and again that's those are good numbers that's really good numbers even bowers numbers 14 and 9 if he continues to decrease though he might be a player i look to trade um good walks and strikeouts good era so we'll have to keep our eye out see how he does shane bieber even though he's back down to a 79 finished a little bit rough second half you know this this is like five um territory for starting in terms of era but you can see he did pretty solid um for a first year you know like this is like a five start number uh, mike clevenger for some reason was in the bullpen um i know he did get hurt at one point so you can see not not too bad nine six or three six era not a nine six era but he he was mostly in the bullpen the second half of the season because he did get hurt at one point and then when he came back, they have, the CPU obviously put him in the bullpen. But you can see Danny Salazar is up to an 88. And um, for a fill-in starter, kind of like the Mount Mon Mike Montgomery the Cubs are using, it's pretty pretty, pretty solid. So um, we're have, we have a very solid starting rotation. Looking at the bullpen, Simber, wish it was a little bit better. Definitely wish it was a little bit better. Hoyt's up to an 80. He had a good year. That's a good year right there. Josh Tomlin um, coming up second half of the season. Not too good. Cody Allen, pretty high ERA. Brad Hand, he's still decreasing, but he, he pitched really well. So I'm not going to complain. And Andrew Miller, obviously doing what Andrew Miller does. Under a two ERA, five blown saves. That's not an issue. We, he still had 57. Um, looking at the lineup, Jose Ramirez has gone um, a little bit up, a little bit up, but he's still decreasing. He hit 300 on the year. So amazing michael brantley's an 89 he hit 321 on the year josh donaldson he's increasing he hit 41 homers had 103 ribbies hit 256 not too sure why lindor is in the four spot but you know what i'm not going to complain 35 homers 120 ribbies and a 300 average 
Nice. Josh Bell's up to an 81. He hit 25 homers. Okay. Joey Wendell, like I said, is a good little bench bat, rotation, platoon player, whatever you want to call him. He does the job. Tyler Naquin, he's up to an 80. So he's he's developing too. Jackie Bradley Jr. is an 85. So he looks like to be a pretty decent center field pickup for us. Um, Randall Gritchick is okay. Um, if Naquin's going to be an 80, I might move Gritchick just to avoid paying him a 3 million arbitration. That way, um, or get him, sign him, and then trade him so we don't have to keep on to that 3 million, especially since we do have to worry about trying to keep Josh Donaldson, um, trying to keep Andrew Miller, and a couple other pieces. So it's all about wondering how um, we're going to be affording everybody. Tristan McKenzie, 65 overall, not too bad. Um, Neil Ramirez is a 66, but he is 28, so he probably won't be like a player I keep my eye on. Bobby Bradley is a 70, which is good because that means we could probably stay away from Yonder Alonso. We could let Bobby Bradley play for us next season and not have to pay Yonder Alonso like two, three million. Um, anybody else that really developed? Yu Chang developed pretty quickly. And then in the outfield, we should have Bradley Zimmer and also Greg Allen, who two players who could be those backup outfielders that um, it looked like Rangel Gritchick became as the end of the season. So heading into the playoffs, um, the team performed very, very well. Let's uh, let's see who we're going to be playing. We're going to be playing the Angels. And to be honest, this was another team that we struggled with. So I'm really hoping it didn't come down to this because if we lose this, it is over. And I'm going to be very upset because we are the much better team. So you can see their, their pitching. It doesn't look that good. You know, like they have 70s, a couple low 80s. I'm going <sighs> to Beaver. I'm going to put my faith into you. You guys can see their squad on the right hand side. They do have Trout. They do have Upton. They have Simmons. They have some hitters, but I definitely think they have Otani DH in. I, we, we should win this game. We, we really should win this game. Um, so let's do it. Jose Ramirez. Jose Ramirez. That's what I'm talking about. We get a single and then a fielder's choice and a fielder's choice. So we started off hot. We Okay. Whew, I was going to say we started off hot. We can't be letting them back into this. Mm, not the best start. We had the lead off, but okay. Jose Ramirez doubles. Okay. Then a single. You know what? I'm going to do the sack fly. He strikes out. Walk. Bases loaded. Grounds out. Oh, we get the run across. Okay. Okay. I'll take it. Definitely will take it. Um, a single for Jackie Bradley Jr. Jose Ramirez gets out for the first time today. Fielder's choice. Fielder's choice. Fly out. Okay. Gets out of the trouble. There we go. Brantley. Double play. Double for Lindor though. And we bring home another run. There we go. Three to nothing into the fifth. Trout. Why? Why? Why you got to do that? Jose Ramirez though. You've been hot today. Can't keep it up. Bieber, give me one more inning. Nope, that's going to be it for us. We're facing a lefty. Um, We're facing a string of lefties. We brought in the lefty and he... Okay, we're back within one. We're back within one. I don't... How did that just happen? Like, what? And then a triple... A... What is what how, what just happened? How did we just just completely capitulate like that? We just got eliminated. What just happened? We were the best team in all of baseball and we just got absolutely smacked by the Angels. What? I don't understand that at all. So the Dodgers defeat the Astros. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know. Let's hop into season two. All right, because I'm afraid I don't think we're going to be afford, able to afford many other contracts. These are the three that we're going with. They're massive. Um, we're going to let everybody else walk. Um, I don't even know if we're going to be able to afford those. So uh, let's see. Okay, so we were able to afford Miller, Donaldson, and also Brantley. The thing with Brantley is I might trade him. I might. 
I don't know yet. Already these six had arbitration and then contracts wise, I'm going to keep Bell, Naquin, Clevenger, Simber, Bieber, and Wendell. The rest will be like prospect contracts. So there, those are the contracts for you guys. Alrighty. So unfortunately, Andrew Miller went to the Rangers, which is a huge blow. Um, which is unfortunate because I thought we signed them, but I, I, I guess we didn't. So that, that actually hurts us a lot. Um, alrighty, so we did lose Andrew Miller, but you know what? We got the next best thing in Josh Hader, another lefty who will help us out in the bullpen, along with Freddie Peralta, 22-year-old, 74 overall starting pitcher. We're getting rid of Ethan Hankins, um, and we're, get, we're getting rid of a little bit here. Um, Bradley Zimmer, who is a big, big piece of this, but we do have Greg Allen, who's the same age, not as good potential, but I'm okay with that. And Randall Gritchick, who, to be honest, he wasn't amazing. So I'm okay with letting uh, Naquin take over the role. And then we have Brantley, Naquin, and Jackie Bradley Jr. in the outfield. And then we kind of need a, now we need a, um, a backup outfielder which could be greg allen or it could be someone else depending on what trades we make but for right now i like that trade especially since we lost andrew miller we're starting with the same rotation i have faith in them um the one i'm keeping my eye on is trevor bauer depending on how if he starts to decrease again in the bullpen we have salazar who could definitely become a starter for us but at the same time it's a very hard to find a long reliever in this game so he could stay there Hoyt I brought back because he didn't really want that much money and he was very consistent for us we have Simber Cody Allen's here um, that rookie that we drafted um, last year and Anthony Mora whose stats don't look horrible um, we have Josh Hader and then Brad Hand lineup currently looks like this we do have a couple rookies Greg Allen and Philip Kondo the first baseman that we drafted last year and this is the lineup so it's pretty similar to last year I would have liked to bring in a, a better bench bat, but for trade wise, I just couldn't find anything that would work. Same with pitching. I really wanted to find one more bullpen arm, but I couldn't find anything right now. So for right now, that's how we're going to start. I'm going to let the CPU handle the draft and I'll see you guys at trade deadline. At the trade deadline day, we are sitting 17 games ahead in the central In the central. I'm not really too worried. Um, as long as we're winning games, we definitely should be in first. Um, we really don't have anybody on the disabled list. Let's see how the CPU handled our draft. First baseman with 85 potential. He's a 59 overall in Andreas Guzman. Pretty decent power versus lefty already. Alan Van, another first baseman with 76 potential. He's a 48 overall. Doesn't look too special. A second baseman, Freddie Porton. Um, 54 overall, 88 potential. Um... Merle Weaver, not even going to look at. Patrick Anthony is a 63 overall with 85 potential. That's that's decent. He's already got some decent pitching stats. And the other two, not too impressive. Pitching-wise, let's see how we're doing. Trevor Bauer is still going down, so he most likely will be traded. Even though he's got phenomenal numbers um, for kind of that 3-4 starter spot, um, it's, it's time for him to move on. Corey Kluber is still doing really well. 2-6 ERA, very nice. Stroman similar numbers a little bit higher era but still doing pretty solid clevenger okay 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 numbers trevor bauer he's still okay but i would really like for him to not decrease she shane bieber is doing it's having a little bit of a rough year danny salazar pretty similar numbers from last year um hoyt is starting to decrease now which is unfortunate simber is up to an 80 which is good to see his era is down from last year but it's still not where i would like it Cody Allen, again, high, high, um, high ERA. Anthony Mora not doing too well. Josh Hader is an 85 with a 3.16 ERA. And Brad Hand is decreasing as well, which is not good because if our bullpen struggling, we're going to struggle. Um, looking at the team, Brantley is a 90. Um, even though he is 31, he's still doing very, very well. Um, I still don't get why. Um, Lindor is our th our three sp our four spot, but you know what? It, it I guess it's working. I guess it's working. So maybe maybe we don't need to change it. Jose Ramirez is at the 300 mark, um, even though he's decreasing. Josh Donaldson's actually having a pretty decent year, but he is decreasing as well. Lindor is going up. Finally, someone's going up. He's got 20 some homers on the year. Tyler Naquin's up to an 84, which is nice to see. Josh Bell's up to an 83. So we are having some players who are increasing. Jackie Bradley Jr. is going down. Why is he going down? 
his contract and his performance so we got players who are going down condos up to a 72 he's doing pretty decent roberto perez greg allen's up to a 76 so we got players going down which i don't like to see i'm gonna let jackie bradley jr finish the year just because he is still pretty young and i think it's purely based on his um his performance on why he's decreasing josh donaldson obviously he's 33 so may especially with his contract maybe trade him while he has some value get someone who can really hold down the third base spot um and then find a new starting pitcher and some bullpen arms so let's see how this works alrighty so we do find a new pitcher jameson tie-in of the pirates we're going back to the pirates 27 years old a potential 87 overall for trevor bauer um bobby bradley and starting pitcher of andrew savali savale um it is it'll we have to trade a lot but it is an 87 overall pitcher um and i definitely think this this is going to work for us I, we got a new pitcher now i kind of want to move on from brad hand as well since he is down to an 84 and find a new uh, reliever um and then i'll keep on to josh donaldson because he still is a 90 and he's still doing pretty good um we're going to the string being slinger of the cubs carl edwards 27 years old so he's pretty similar in age to brad hand a little bit younger same overall but b potential we're just gonna go straight up trade um just because this actually allows josh Hader to be the closer which is what he wants to be already a player who i haven't picked up in a quite a bit um but does so well sam tui valala 81 overall 26 years old b potential he gets he just becomes a really good arm we're getting rid of james hoyt ricky redding and anthony mora um two actually are in the majors right now one isn't but for an 81 overall player three players who aren't getting any better that definitely is is something that i'm, I'm liking a lot so we're gonna move him there um move carl edwards up there so we got three here i would like four here um but i think i think our, our team can hold on um, i don't really have anybody who i'd be willing to bring up um, we're kind of low on the the players um and then you can see this is the lineup still the same so I'm, I'm feeling good now the bullpen the pitching rotations looking nice let's let's see how the rest of the season goes all right we finished 162 and as you can see we'll be taking on the astros a pretty tough team um in the divisional series so let's see how the year finished out league leaders wise Corey kluber again innings pitched and whip he's definitely a really solid ace josh donaldson got another gold glove at third and you can see in the central like i said as long as we're winning I think if we even win like 80 games, we're definitely going to win the Central. Um, we were, again, oh, the Yankees beat us out for the best team in baseball this year, unfortunately. Um, but looking at the squad, Corey Kluber, 13 and 8, a 272 ERA. He's just a phenomenal ace for this club right now. Like, he's just doing very, very well. Um, Marcus Stroman, 20 and 7, um, 329 ERA. So a little bit higher from last year. He had almost 20 innings more, though. Um, 30 K's more so his strikeouts went up and that's that's a solid year. That is a good good year Mike Clevenger his ERA went up definitely went up. That's more of like a four or five starters ERA um, But you can see he's an 87 um, um, Jamison Tyon is down to an 86 from when we traded for him, but he has under a three ERA um, a losing record which is unfortunate to see but he definitely um, That ERA is very nice to see and then Shane Bieber's up to an 80 now um, his ERA is still just kind of struggling though. Danny Salazar is doing, ooh, Danny Salazar kind of fell off this year ERA wise, um, which is unfortunate to see. Adam Simber is up to an 81, which is good to see. Under a three ERA, good numbers there. Sam Tui Valala, um, just pretty solid. Carl Edwards Jr. is down to an 80. He had a rough second half of the year. Cody Allen is going down, which is unfortunate. Why is he going down? His contract is a big one and the fact that he's not in his preferred role and Josh Hader is is doing okay his contract is hurting him and the fact that he's not close to home is also affecting him so yikes um Michael Brantley still doing pretty solid in the lineup spot which is good to see Jose Ramirez is still at that 89 mark but he had a pretty solid year Josh Donaldson has gone down to a 95 he kind of fell off this year not as many home runs or ribbies Lindor though has gone he's just continuing to produce his average wasn't as good but he's still just doing really solid tyler naquin's doing pretty good best year overall in his career 
Josh Bell's up to an 84. He had his best career year as like just his career year, his best year in his career. Um, Joey Wendell's have an 83. So he even even though he didn't hit the ball well, he's he's proven to be a pretty good um, DH. Jackie Bradley Jr. is going down, so he might be a player that I'm looking to move on from, unfortunately, in season three. Just his individual performance is hurting him. And Jan Gomez is hit hover around that um, 77 mark. Philip Kondo in his rookie year hit 329, so he's up to a 73, which is good to see. He also can play third base. Okay, that's good news. Roberto Perez had a pretty rough year, and Greg Allen, not too bad of a year at all. So let's, I don't think we really have any prospects anymore, but we do have this David Flanagan that we drafted, I'm pretty sure. Um, Freddie Peralta, who we traded for, so he's he's a good piece to have. But um, outside of that, we don't really have too many names to look forward to so let's get into this houston astros series we win the first we lose the second we lose the third are we really going to go back to back years where we get knocked out in the first series all right we do have jameson on the mound for us um you can see the astros squad there you i'll also show you their pitching rotation we're going against their worst pitcher so i'm hoping i'm hoping i'm hoping Michael Brantley starting us off really hot there. Okay. So, okay. One, two, three inning. Naquin, Bell, Wendell, single. Okay. And then a fielder's choice. And we get out of that inning too. So, let's see if we can add on to it. Unfortunately, we weren't able to. And it is a tie ball game. Okay. A walk. All right. Fielder's choice though. Naquin, two run bomb. And we're back up by two. That's good to see. And he was thrown out at home. Was trying to make it a three run game unfortunately you couldn't Jan Gomez Brantley singles Ramirez doubles home the run and it is now a four to one ball game so okay we got a three run lead Jamison's pitching pretty well knock on wood I don't want to jinx it Josh Bell adds on to it which is good to see I'm gonna let Jamison go at least one more mm, no I'm not no I am not so Okay, I didn't mean to do that actually. I really didn't. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Um, Bragman. Uh, um, we're gonna go to Ivalala. Yikes! 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 That was my fault. I didn't mean to bring in Salazar, and that that kind of screwed us over because he walked the bases loaded. So. Um, we're only up by one, which is not good. Um, but we get out of it. There we go. All right. We don't get anything there. We're going to bring in Cody Allen. See if he can shut the door here. He does. Josh Bell, can you... Okay, that's a good start. A fly out. A double. Okay, can you give us the sack fly? He does. Gives us a two-run lead heading into the ninth. And we're going to bring in Hayter to shut the door. Hater, you have got to be kidding me. How? <sighs> How? That's two straight times I've brought in the best reliever for that spot, and we get screwed over. Season three it is. Everybody got arbitration. Even though Hater really pissed me off right there, I still kept him on the club. Looking at the squad, I'll probably bring, yeah, I'll give everybody a contract here, um, and then the rest will probably be prospect contracts. Third season three, we're gonna be adding Carlos Martinez of the Reds, 88 overall. He's now a relief pitcher, um, formerly of the Cardinals. I think this is one of the better trades we can make. I looked at Jordan Hicks, but his walks are pretty hot, like his walk number, like walk stat is pretty low. So that doesn't really help us out much and it usually hurts when a player has um, low walk stats or walk like a walk per nine. So I'm going to go with this guy, Carlos Martinez. I think as a long reliever, he'll help out Salazar. Um, and um, I, th I think that was I think that's a good move for us because now we have two long relievers. We got middle relief and setup looking good. The starting lineups looking good. Um, I am worried about Josh Donaldson a little bit. He might start to decrease even faster now. Um, but you can see Philip Condos up to an 80. 
Josh Bell's an 82. Jackie Bradley Jr. is another player I'm probably going to move on from, which means we need a new center fielder as well. Um, so I'm going to have to make a couple of trades, see what I can do. We're going to the Phillies for Nick Williams. Um, the thing is, like, there aren't many right, like, players that really fit the mold of what we need. And I've looked around. There's no center fielders that are really attainable for us so we're gonna move to a right fielder and then that means nate Gwynn can probably play center hopefully that works out for us um let me check his fielding i mean his fielding 77 it's it's not a horrible move but i think that's the move nick williams and then two players um a c potential player and also a b potential player so those that's what we're making the move for i've tried i looked around jackie bradley jr really just doesn't have that much trade value right now um I may try to find another starter um, just because Shane Bieber is a player that he's been decent, but he hasn't been amazing. So maybe maybe to find a new starter, especially since he had, does have a lot of trade value. We're going to go for Julio Urias of the Dodgers, a player that I've always tried to get um, because he always develops so quickly, but I've never been able to attend. We're getting rid of Shane Bieber, Tristan McKenzie and Brandon Aiken. We're throwing everything at the Dodgers right now um, just to be able to acquire this starting pitcher. Um, it worked out well just because we're kind of strapped for cash right now um, because we do have a couple players on some really big contracts. So this allows us to bring in a really good starting pitcher. And now looking at the pitching rotation, I think this is one of our strongest ones ever. Um, it, it just looks good. It looks really good. The lineup, um, Nick Williams needs to go somewhere into the squad. I guess he's. I guess we'll, we'll try him out in center. Hope, hopefully it works out um, and we don't we don't get uh, demolished. I am going to move, make sure Lindor is not in the four spot anymore. So this is how we're going to line up season one. Um, Ramirez, Naquin, Brantley, Donaldson, Lindor. I might actually have Lindor lead off. Yeah, I'm going to try that. I'm going to try Lindor leading off. Naquin, Brantley, Donaldson, Ramirez, Bell, Kondo, Williams, and Gomez. We got these guys on the bench. And I actually think we can bring up one more player. The thing is, I don't think we have any other players that would really be of use in the majors. Yeah, we really don't. So, um, unfortunately, even though I would like to bring up one more player, we don't really have anybody to bring up. Um, but this is the bullpen as well. It's, it's looking good. I'm feeling really good about this squad. So uh, let's get into it. See you guys at trade deadline. At the deadline day, we are only six and a half games above the White Sox. Hasn't been going well. We had a lot of injuries, like a lot. We've had two starters at one point. We've had Cody Allen just get hurt, um, which is unfortunate because he's actually, he was actually doing pretty solid. Um, draft picks wise, one decent one, but I mean, it won't really matter because this will probably be the last season. Um, but you can see, yeah, we're kind of in a we're we're in a bit of a, a situation now because we we have a couple injuries. You can see Carlos Martinez is up to a 92, 86 for Salazar. Tui Valala's having a little bit of a rough season. Simber as well. Um, he's actually going down, so he's probably a player I'm looking to move. Carl Edwards Jr. is having a rough year. Haters having a rough year. And then you can see the pitchers here. Um, pitching wise, not going too great. Jose Ramirez has gone down in one rating. Nate wins up to an 87. Lindor is a 97. Josh Donaldson is still holding his rating, which is good to see. Kondo is a 79. Bell is an 83. Nick Williams is actually doing pretty solid, which is a good pickup for us. And Brantley here. And then on the bench, you guys can see what's going on over here. So overall, not amazing. We're definitely in a little bit of trouble pitching wise, which means I'm definitely going to be looking to find some players to... Um, you know just figure out and like I don't want to say figure out but we need we need some pitching we, we're, we're struggling in the pitching department which is unfortunate so um, we can see that Cody Allen's out for another month um, so he's basically out for the rest of the year ish because um, he's all, all of August so we definitely need to figure out a spot there so let me see we do have one more pitching prospect that we could move which might actually be the smart decision right now Just move him and simber get a really good pitching um get a really good uh reliever so let's see what we can do all right we're going to the angels for kenyon middleton 81 overall um we're getting rid of simber and noah naylor who's one of our lower rated catchers um for him which it's, it's a decent little pickup for us um 
it adds you know a decent little arm for us here in the bullpen so now we kind of have a setup man um cody allen will come back i'm thinking about moving salazar over and trading stroman just because stroman's having a little bit of a rough season and um i'd rather solidify this um this this starting rotation maybe move salazar over here let carlos martinez roll this rock this spot and then find a new a new um pitcher so let's see what we can do here all right we're bringing andrew miller back for one last hurrah um we're getting rid of stroman like i said and we're gonna move salazar to the starting spot and then we're getting rid of ocl rodriguez a player i picked up in free agency he was a b potential pickup um and then we got marcus stroman heading out the door he's just having a rough season and i think i'd rather solidify the bullpen and um now we can move salazar over here and this is what we're looking looking like um haters having it a bit a bit of a rough time as closer so i'm gonna have him be the setup man um once uh what's his name cody allen comes back our lineup our pitching rotation looks really solid the lineup is it's still really good um i feel like hitting wise we sh we're, we're doing fine i just don't understand why we're not winning more games um i definitely think it was the bullpen the bullpen was struggling so now we're looking a little bit better um let's see how the rest of the season finishes up yeah we're gonna go with this one michael gibbons for patrick anthony to kind of push us through um just to add another higher rated bullpen arm um I just, I feel like it's something that we we just we just need a li little bit more of a push. All right, as you can see, it's not the best season we've had, but we finished 94 and 68. We're taking on the Angels, and um, I think this was uh, a something that we definitely needed um, because you can see how the season finished. Corey Kluber was just a phenomenal pitcher. I'm glad I kept on to him. Um, this was his worst season by ERA standards, but still a very good season. Jamison Tyen, um, he had a pretty solid year. 3.5 ERA is not bad at all. Obviously not as good as last year's, but still a good year. Julio Urias, a 2.77 is great by today's um, ERA standards, like today's um, baseball. Um, Salazar didn't have a win-loss record that was positive, but he still was a good little, like, fill-in starter that we had and then Mike Clevenger had his roughest year Carlos Martinez as that long reliever definitely did his job Sam Tui Valala rough rough year same with Carl Edwards Jr. Kenyon Middleton so our bullpen really struggled this year Hater 6 ERA Andrew Miller came in and did Andrew Miller things though so that's good to see Jose Ramirez 266 he's down to an 87 overall but 266 average 20 homers an okay year okay year Tyler Naquin turns into an absolute monster apparently he's an 89 overall with a 300 average Lindor's a 97 overall I'm really glad I got to see him develop in this sim style franchise Josh Donaldson's actually gone up on the year he had a bounce back year um, from last year did very well Philip Condos an 80 and he had a pretty solid year 284 average that's solid to see 85 overall for josh bell nick williams is still at that 81 mark but he hit almost 300 on the year michael brantley still hovering around that mid 80s mark and then jan gomez is still around that high 70s mark joey wendell still doing joey wendell things he's an okay hitter um logan ice and then greg allen we really don't have anybody in the farm system to even worry about we do have david flanagan the issue with him is is he's been injured almost every single season and outside of that we kind of cleared house on the um farm system so for the future this team's not very not very set up um league leaders wise josh donaldson had the most homers rbis and francisco lindor had the most runs and Jamison Tyon had the, the, the whip. Um, Josh Donaldson wasn't that high on average. But, okay, okay. Awards, Josh Donaldson was the MVP. And a gold glove flirt for Lindor. So, Josh Donaldson did some did some work. And we finished 15 games above the White Sox. Um, and we were the sec third best team in the majors behind the Yankees and the Dodgers. So, Heading into this, you can see the playoff picture. We are playing the Angels, um, which in season one were kind of our killers. We couldn't beat them during the year. So they have Otani on the mound. Okay. Hmm. Let's let's just see how this goes. Uh, 
I'm I'm not feeling too good. We haven't been doing that great um, in terms of playoff performance. But we do get the win. We get another win. There we go. Okay. And we're taking on the Yankees. I like that. I like that. We did very well there. Um, is Dallas Keuchel their ace? It shouldn't be. It should be Seve. Yeah, Severino, Severino's down there, but Keuchel is their highest rated pitcher. So do I, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to let, let it go. You know what? I'm going to do, I'm going to do this. I'm going to just move Clevenger down a spot or a couple spots. So that way we get it line up. Salazar Keuchel, we get the win. We get the second win. Didn't win that one. We didn't win that one. And we're down to our final game. Hmm. <sighs> Alrighty, so do I? I have to go Kluber here, right? Yeah, Kluber. It, it's we we can't not go Kluber, right? Like that's just we can't do that. So this is the lineup. This is their lineup: Nunez, Nunez, Glaber Torres, Glaber Torres, Judge, Giancarlo Stanton, Ozzy Albies. So they somehow traded for Ozzy Albies. Um, I don't know who's in center. Peral David Peralta is in center, maybe. Um, I don't think that's David Peralta though. It might be Justin Smoke is at first seat, Didi Gregorius at short, and Tommy Hayes at catcher. So, um, um, yeah, it is David Peralta in center. Okay, <laughs> alrighty. Um, so we're gonna start it off here, one, two, three inning, <sighs> and I'm just down two nothing in the first. Not a good start. Not a good start at all. We get the double play. That's good. We get a single to start it off this inning. A pop out. A double play. Jeez. Okay. So we're still down two to nothing. Can we can we get a little rally started? There we go, Josh Donaldson. Make it two to two. And we're keeping the inning alive here. Bases loaded, one out. Bases clearing double. Okay. Then we get another run. We're up by four. Come on, Kluber. Do what you did all season. Um, Lindor. Donaldson singles okay and then we can't really take advantage of that but okay I do like what I'm seeing so far here in the sixth um, Kluber hit by pitch stolen base really now we're only up two but Kluber gets me out that's probably his last inning so two run bomb by Lindor we're up by four again and we're keeping the inning alive we make it a five run game and like I said that was probably his last batter um, so let's bring in, mm, let's go to Villala. double play, gets us out of it, perfect, that's what I'm looking for, Brantley, Ramirez, and Naquin, okay, first and third, Lindor, doesn't do anything there, but that's okay, that's okay, we're up by five, we're still up by five, that's a good, that's a good little hold right there, double play, and that's going to be the inning, we're up by five, so... I'm going to see if Tui Valala can do this. I, I kind of want to hold, like, keep the bullpen a little fresh. And he is. And we, we're, 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 we're holding on. We're holding on. We're going into game seven now. Let's see how this goes. Whew. This is uh, Mike Miner. And we're going to have Julio Urias on the mound. You can see the lineup staying the same. Let's do it. Not the best start. He was caught stealing good. Okay, that's good. Josh Donaldson, Bell. Some, can we get a hit? Can we get a hit? Okay, we do get out of it. We get a walk. Okay. A pop-up. A fielder's choice. <sighs> Two-run homer. So this was the same as last game. Last game, we were down We were down two, not three. So we got to come back from a little bit more this time. Mm, come on guys we don't even have a hit we're letting mike minor take there we go we get a hit now um we do steal second so we're in scoring position we okay we get the run and that's it okay we, we at least get a run i didn't even realize his energy was that low oh he just put up a five spot
How is he tired after that? <sighs> well, that's going to do it. Unfortunately, we weren't... <sighs> so close. Just one more game would have gotten us there. So... Unfortunately, we don't make the World Series, but I think for a team right now, we made a good team. For the future, this team's screwed. I'm not gonna lie, this team has no prospects. We didn't really focus on prospects. This was another one of those teams where we cleared house to make a very good team for the like current status, push for the World Series, and we came just one game short. But for the right now, this team's really set. Um, Hayter, Miller, Cody Allen, Kenyon Middleton actually turns into a pretty solid pitcher in the future. Carl Edwards Jr., little lackluster. Sam Tuivalala, he's still developing. Carlos Martinez is turning out to be one of the best long relievers in the game. Um, Julio Urias was a huge letdown, even though he did very well in the regular season, but he's almost a 90. Jamison Tyon's almost a 90. Um, Danny Salazar is a great long reliever slash like fill-in starter. Corey Kluber is a phenomenal pitcher. Um, Mike Clevenger first season went pretty solid after that kind of fell off um, and the lineup is just Tyler Naquin is an absolute monster Lindor same thing he has just really good production Josh Donaldson held his overall so he performed pretty solidly Philip Kondo this guy is turning out to be a pretty solid first baseman Josh Bell did his job at first Nick Williams replaced Jackie Bradley Jr. just fine even better I would I would say and Michael Brantley held his role pretty good in the left field. Um, Jose Ramirez did pretty solid, even though he was consistently going down. And overall, I think this team for right now is really, really good. I think in the future, not so much. Um, we really only have David Flanagan to hold on to. But outside of that, I think this is a very, very good team. Um, I really wish we didn't blow that last game, but it's just the way it works out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this rebuild of the Cleveland Indians. If you did, let me know in the comment section below and also let me know future teams to rebuild. Like I said, we only have like five or six teams left. So it's getting to the end of all the teams to be rebuilt. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I've already said, I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.